Hi, this is a video comparing the Rigel DS2202 with the DS1104Z and also the Agenet DSO-X3024A. And when I'm comparing, uh, what I'd like to compare is the intensity grading. Uh, a couple of years ago, I was in the market of buying a new scope and I evaluated the DS, the Rigel DS4000 series. And it was between that one and the DSO3000 series. And I, I went ahead and chose the Agilent simply because the intensity grading was just a little bit better and the update uh, rate was uh, much faster. So I went with that. Um, the reason that I, uh, uh, I like to uh, test the intensity grading is that uh, it just gives you a better uh, update or what the picture looks. And usually what the way I like to compare is by using a video uh, signal. Uh, I guess the video signal idea came, uh, comes from uh, back when I used to work uh, television. Video was always a very hard uh, signal to sync, and uh, and it's a very complex signal. It's got uh, vertical uh, sync, horizontal sync, so it's digital pulses, and then you have the analog component. So it's a it's a composite uh, of uh, various signals. So that's a very good test to see whether your intensity grading how good it is. Anyway, uh, on top we have the Agilent. And what I've done is, I went ahead and put, just to try to quantify or, or try to be fair, I went ahead and put the, the intensity right at the center. And if you notice, I can go all the way up, and it basically washes out. Okay, so you lose all of your intensity grading. But I went ahead and put it in the middle. Okay, and before I... Let me explain where what I'm using. I'm using a camera. Okay, and the camera I have it aimed at my ceiling fan. That way you can see the movement. So that's another uh, variable that you can kind of see your update of the screen, how fast it updates the the video. And as you can tell, that's pretty fast update. It uh, it mimics. Or you can actually see kind of see the movement in the video and if I expand it see so you can see the video and it's not steppy or uh, I guess digitized or a step it it's, looks like a continuous uh, uh, movement okay and then the other thing that I notice is it's got pretty good contrast so you have your blacks, and then you have your yellow, and then a little dark, and so forth. So you can see the different levels of in intensity, as well as the analog signal. So this is the, the sync pulses and the vertical pulses, so you can tell, tell them apart. And if you swing, here's your uh, burst signal, your sync signal, and your back porch. So that's the intensity gradient on the DXO X3024. Okay, so now uh, we're gonna go to the DS2202 uh, and I have the same situation here. Now if you go all the way up it doesn't wash up. Uh, you can still see the intensity gradient. Okay, so if you press it and goes to the middle so that's the middle and you can see the movement but if you notice the movement or the update is not as fast of course the Agilent is one mil it's supposed to be I believe one million uh, uh, samples per second or update so it's much faster but you can see that uh, it's keeping up uh, now the only thing that I do notice is there's not enough contrast here as opposed to here you can see that this is darker and then this is a little white, uh, more yellower 
so you can see the difference right there and on this one on the DS2202 it looks uh, you can't tell the difference and I'm wondering if you expand it if you can no it's basically the same you can see the line right there I'm not sure if you can see it but uh, I can there's a small line in there and that's that would be okay. that would be that and I believe that's the the line that we're seeing is the lower edge of the burst. So that's the line that we actually see. So you can't really see the burst on this one. Uh, there you can kind of see the line. Okay. Now I'm been really impressed with this new oscilloscope. Actually, the uh, and of course. When you're judging intensity gradient, it's very subjective, but you can see that this has much greater contrast. If you notice, you can tell, you can see the edge of the burst. Let me go ahead and see that's the bottom of the, of the, of the burst signal. And so you can see that the intensity grading on the DS1104 in my opinion and of course it's subjective it looks much better than the DS2202 now I have read in the EEV block that there have been some uh, firmware so the new firmware may have uh, maybe improved the intensity grading, made it look a little bit better. But I am really, really impressed how good the intensity grading of the DS1104 is. Okay, and of course it's subjective. And let me go ahead and do the same thing. That's in the middle, and I'm going to go ahead and increase it. And this actually works almost similar to the Agilent it almost washes out or it goes to maximize okay so you get that effect same effect as the Agilent and you press it it goes to the middle and to me this is very very similar in performance to the Agilent if you, you're able to see the contrast between the blacks and the full where it's fully on and and uh, like I said I'm impressed I mean this this uh, scope is for under six hundred dollars you can uh, you can get a seven hundred I uh, know a seventy megahertz or for about eight hundred bucks you can get a one one hundred megahertz the other thing that impressed me is uh, it's four channels and it has almost the same capabilities as the DS 2202 although it probably has uh, this one has a little bit more memory and of course has higher sample and it can go up to 200 megahertz but as far as the screen uh, I like the screen on this one uh, a little bit better I also noticed that it seems to be brighter as a matter of fact the viewing angle if you come down here yeah, surface or eye level seems to the 2202 seems to be a little bit darker okay and and if you go up it's still not as bright okay so if we turn the brightness up all the way up you can tell that that the DS1104Z it's a much brighter uh, um, screen so the only thing that I can I wish was that they had the same intensity grading that they have from the DS1104 on this on the 2202 
uh, I don't know whether because they're using more steps I thought it was 256 individual grading steps as opposed to the 64 but I think the 64 probably works maybe fed better so I'm not sure whether it's the steps that makes it or at least in my opinion look a little bit better or is it uh, maybe the update or, or something that I really don't fully understand but uh, anyway that's that's a comparison of the intensity grading like I said the all three look very good but if I had to pick between the two the DS1104 seems to have a much better in my opinion again uh, the intensity grading seems to be just almost as good as this uh, much more expensive oscilloscope okay so you get a big bang for your buck as far as uh, uh, intensity grading and performance and so forth thank you for watching